Orden Lerets next super match has been confirmed against who let's find out hello i'm wrestling fans in today's video we will discuss a brief summary of the recent eng interzi and john brizing podcast then denis plenkov's opinion about stem cells and devon versus levan rematch and some other interesting topics so let's start first of all eng in let us know the reason why toddzilla todd hutchings couldn't go to dubai for king of the table 11 to arm wrestle kidargali ongarbayev the reason is that around that time todd will be attending his mother's funeral memorial that's why he wouldn't be in dubai for that match after that john said that since the sasha andreev match he has basically not trained at all because after that match he took some rest then it was already time for the krasimir kostadinov super match and since that time he has also not had any serious training whatsoever but it looks like he's planning to change that because john did say that there is still plenty of time left till august they further didn't discuss this topic but i think we can guess that john may have a super match in august and possibly against arsen liliev if arsen is able to defeat brandon elsesser at east versus west 12 then it would be a realistic expectation in my mind then engen discussed a possible match between david dadikian and devon lerat himself for the 115 kg title match and about this match John said that David Dadikian is really really impressive. David Dadikian impressed me tremendously against Hutchings and I know how ungodly strong Hutchings has gotten. He is for sure the clear contender to have the shot at Devon and in my mind I think he's got a lot of correct attributes to possibly take a win or two off Devon. Whether or not he can win 6 rounds but he showed extremely strong hand and cupping ability. So clearly just like everyone else in this world John also has Devon as the favorite but he's not completely neglecting the Dikian's power to do something against Devon. I also don't see the Dikian having much chances in that match. Maybe if the match was at 105 kilos then there could have been something interesting. Chan Shaw uploaded this post just a few hours ago. So looks like they have started their East versus West Challenger series in North America. If you are an Amnesty News subscriber, you are already updated about this news subject. So the opponent for Orden Lerat is going to be James English as you can see in this post. So James is a famous bodybuilder who has tried his hand in arm wrestling quite a few times I'll have to say. You must have seen him multiple times on Larry Wheel's channel, arm wrestling against Larry, arm wrestling against Larry's manager Adam Silvers and a bunch of other guys. So James has a very quick inside press move but he can also top roll. And once he competed in Texas Arm Wrestling League in the amateur class and he won it both left and right handed. He's about 5 foot 9 and from the looks of it I can guess him being around 200 pounds. So this is the match that we have for now. And Devon Lett is also going to be a special guest at that event. It's going to be a best of 5 right handed super match and it's going to take place on June 15th in Orlando, Florida. So are there going to be some questions once again? because yes james english is solid he is strong for sure looks stronger than the arm wrestling whisperer but that is also once again a smaller guy than orden lerat with probably few years less experience as well and once again a social media match this is what they are going for please let us know about your thoughts on this match making in the comment section so coach ray went to the italian super match arm wrestling world cup and he cleaned house there As people are saying coach Ray is making Arvis Gasparini proud. That was a funny post on Reddit. So anyways, coach Ray won both left and right-handed in his weight class and he dominated in the overalls as well on the right arm. On the left he took fourth in the overalls. Pretty impressive performance. Sometimes people can just see coach Ray going here and there announcing and commentating and mistake him to be a weak guy, but he's extremely extremely strong. I think he could be the best arm wrestler of about 85% countries in this world. That's how good he really is. Oleg Zhok also competed in the Ukrainian National Championship this weekend and as expected he dominated everyone. 
he let go of one round maybe that guy was his friend victor was his name but that was the same guy that he faced in the final so maybe the strategy worked out and both of them took gold and silver so since oleks come back after his injury since the covid times i think he has been dominating basically about everything the europeans the world championships only one time i saw him lose against talgat aktaev in the world championship 2021 and that too because he was basically robbed by the referees who let target aktaev start with a completely non squared shoulder which is oleg jock's only weakness a fast inside press move while the shoulders are not squared so overall his health looks good still slightly away from his peak shape or maybe far away from his peak shape it could be any of these but he is looking good to me so denis iplenkov is definitely a believer in devon now denis said that leret can give serious competition to Levan Saganashvili. He is prepared well and he definitely has a good chance to win this super match. Then he also talked about stem cells. He was trying to hold himself back while speaking about this stem cell subject, but he was saying these are basically the same as growth hormones. If the stem cells give all the benefits that the athletes are saying it gives, then it is almost the same as human growth hormone. He doesn't really see much difference in these two. It would have been awesome to see Dennis speak more about this subject but that's all we had I'll link the full video in the description please check that out and please hit the thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we'll meet again